My name is Kirsten Müller-Fahl. I'm a neurologist and psychiatrist at Hannover Medical School in Germany. My name is Evgeny Kubowski. I'm a clinical psychologist and a PhD scholar at Hannover Medical School. I'm the head of, a, of the Tourette outpatient clinic here in Hannover and therefore we see hundreds of patients suffering from Tourette. But what we want to report here is a new phenotype of functional movement disorders. And this is something we realized since the beginning of 2019. Um, we started seeing patients with an unusual symptom presentation. Um, what we could notice is that patients reported a much later symptom onset and a much more abrupt symptom onset. And what was particularly interesting is they had mostly complex symptoms, which is unusual for Tourette, and also that they had a vast amount of symptoms in, in the hundreds partially. Yeah, and interestingly, we saw not only this difference between this specific functional movement disorders and tics in Tourette, but we also saw a large overlap among our patients. So for example, um, most of the patients had complex movements at arms and body. Most of the patients had um, a countless number of swear words and insults. Most of the patients commented to situations around them. And um, a large number of patients also decided to give their disease a name, what is very mm -hmm. untypical for other diseases and for patients suffering from Tourette. Well, they actually called it Gisela, which is yeah. an old German name. And some patients started pointing out that there was an influencer on YouTube, a German influencer, who had the very same symptoms that he presented online. And we did the research and looked it up, and we actually found most of those symptoms represented in the videos. And as we started asking patients about if they know this channel and if they have watched it, um, almost everyone knew it and most of them watched it. In addition to that, the symptom onset for most patients was after they watched the video. Yeah, exactly. And then we started to, to analyze not only the data we saw from our patients, but also the videos on this YouTube channel. And we thought um, that there might be a relationship, uh, um, a cautious, cautious relationship. And this was the beginning thinking that um, what, what we see is an outbreak of mesociogenic illness. And this term, mass sociogenic illness, is something that was already known in psychiatry before and in, in earlier ages when uh, sim physical symptoms were spreading without a clear cause, such as people being th thinking that they were poisoned and then all of a sudden a whole class of students think, uh, feels dizzy and in and, and, and pain. And that is something that was not reported much in the newer days. And now it seems like a new type of sociogenic illness is going on. Yeah, exactly. So and, um, when, when classifying different types of sociogenic illness, we know that there's an anxiety variant and a motor variant. And what we believe is, and this is exactly what we de describe in our article, um, that what we see here is an outbreak of mass sociogenic illness, of the motor variant of mass sociogenic illness, but um, for the first time, we describe that this outbreak is solely spread via social media. So far, it was believed that for an outbreak of mass sociogenic illness, there must be a direct contact among patients or people affected. The belief is that there's a virtual or uh, an index case um, from which symptoms start. And what we believe is that here in this case, there's a virtual index case, the influencer in the YouTube video, and symptoms are spread only via social media, via watching these videos. So the main goal of our work is to raise awareness in the scientific community and for clinicians um, to see that this phenomenon exists nowadays, that it is possible, that symptoms are being transmitted in such a way and um, that uh, patients who are seen exhibiting the symptoms can be diagnosed correctly and get an appropriate treatment. Okay, yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much.